Welcome back guys to our EU4 campaign where we try to restore the Ayubit border starting as Hishin Kaifa. So, in the last episode we conquered a bit more of the Mamluks and the Mamluks went completely bankrupt, got beat up by everyone, so that's great. We became a great power, finally, yay. Um, and we got above 50 power projection, which is really nice. We also got the institution embraced, which means that uh, we're sharing it with the Ottomans now. We're gaining a lot of money, so we'll probably recruit a proper army now. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Let's get going. So let's speed up the time here. It's at four speed. Okay, let's see. What can we build? Maybe we should start building up our trade stuff instead, actually. Now that I think about it. Collect 10 ducats here. That's uh, pretty good. There's still some ducats getting sent to the Persian node. That is not the way we want them to go. Who's transferring? Khorasan. Hmm. Okay, so we can choose another reform. Let's go with... Hmm. What are we gonna go with? Administrative policies? Yeah, sure. Let's do that one. Not that we have any yet, but we'll probably get some, right? I don't know. Um... So yeah, let's see about this trade here. Who has the most? I have the most. Then Khorasan, then Mushasha, then Hijaz. And we have a Regency Council. Unfortunate. Let's just bump up our stab when we can. Because we do like getting prosperity. We did actually convert a province. So that's nice. Our religious unity isn't that bad, we, but we are taking a few penalties here. But the clergy is making up for it, so that's good. So, let's build an army. How is our force limit? 37, let's build... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13... Do we want... to calf? Do we want a siege stack? Maybe that's what we want. Maybe we want four artillery in this one, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's not have... Yeah, let's have calf. Sure. And we just spent all of our money. However, however, we're making pretty good income as it is. So we'll have it back in no time. And we got some professionalism, which is pretty good. We can almost get another idea group. Not that we have actually taken the previous one that we could get. Now we are losing our great power status. To Denmark, bloody Denmark, that doesn't exist. Damn you. I'm from Den Denmark myself, so I'm allowed to say it. They are integrating Sweden, which is pretty nice to see. Not for us, of course, because that means they'll get even more power protection, but... But it's not often that they actually do that. Let's get some improved relation, because that means our aggressive exp expansion will go down even faster. Let's get some claim on the Mamluks. We have some spy network. Let's take this little province here for development, sure. And let's keep on going here. Okay, so let's all meet up in Baghdad. And we can take a click here too. Let's get 250 or 45. Four? Was it 44? Yeah, 244.
That actually gives manpower. I didn't I didn't know that. But that's actually six thousand manpower, but we don't need it. Let's get the dockets instead. And let's build buildings because those are awesome. Let's actually see if we can build something in here. Can we build maybe like a trade building or something? We can't build one in 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 here. Tara Tara ta what? What what is it name? Terra Bulos, yes. Something like that. So we are actually at war with Venice, so we can't really upgrade our stuff. Maybe we should take a Diplo idea. How's our air looking? He is a 344. Four. So taking taking maybe the influence idea would be a good idea here. Let's do that, I guess. Yep. We are behind on tech, so we're not gonna take the idea, but I mean, it could be nice with even more income from vassals. We could make them transfer trade, and we are going to do that, I think. No, we're not, not with those guys. Bitless doesn't really have any trade up there, so that's not important. Let's see here. Let's get these guys uh, here. Merged up. Let's see Lebanon, Sidon. I don't know. It's down here. Let's get these guys a leader. We could probably have taken a military idea group, now that I think about it, too, but, mm. Actually, no, because we have two. That would mean we have two military and no others. Which is not possible. I think so, at least. No, you can't do that. A lot of money. We should use them to develop our country in some way. Let's get the production up some places here. Let's get... And we got 15 favors for doing nothing again. I don't know. Are we at 100 favors yet? We're close. <laughs> that is incredible. How are we looking compared to everyone else here? We just... We have this equal amount of troops as uh, Timurids. And nearly equal composition here. So that's actually pretty nice. We, we're becoming quite an empire. Or a kingdom at least. Yet. Soon to be empire. If we play our cards right. Cards right. That's how you say it. So we could build some force limit, regimental camps that gives us force support limit, but we're not gonna do that. Let's instead try to invest in some trade here. Let's upgrade this one. Maybe we should have upgraded that one, but We'll upgrade them all in time, so no worries. And the Ottomans didn't call us in against who were they fighting? Valakia and Bohemia. Oh! Oh, okay. Well. And our air is absolutely shit, so. Let's just inherit that guy. Be or disinherit him because we had the prestige to do so and we were losing prestige anyways. We need to boost up stab again. <laughs> so when can we attack the Mamluks? 
31. Okay. Because they're basically the ones we need to... To kill, right? We don't need anything else. We just need their land. Actually, we do need Aiden's land too. But I think we have a... We don't actually have a truce with them. So let's do that. Let's call in the Timurids. Because why the hell not? Let's conquer some land for Ajaz. At this point we shouldn't really be too scared about aggressive expansion. Close to taking tech. We should go for... Let's get some tolerance of the truce base. That's like almost one national unrest in our favor, so that's pretty nice. And our other air is really shit too. I wish we had enough prestige to inherit or disinherit him, but nope. Uh, let's get some prestige and legitimacy. Let's walk down here, intercept this army. Are they gonna fight us here in the mountains? Where are they going? They're going to the job, both of them. What's their tech? They are at tech 10. We could take tech 11 here. But I don't think we're going to. Let's engage them. What's the quickest way there? We go this way. The 19th. The 19th. Okay. Should be arriving. Yep. We did take a few casualties, but that's fine. We didn't lose any of the cannons we needed for the siege. We're not getting innovativeness for the... Wait, what? Oh, that's 1k uh, cavalry that just, just died. Okay. So, Hijaz, can you like take care, take care of the rebels for me so I can... Maybe I should just go back with this army. Because that's the lowest one. I didn't actually create a siege deck now that I think about it because I have 4 artillery in the other one too. So calling it, it a siege deck wouldn't really be accurate. accurate. We are sieging them down, down quite nicely, just we don't really care about the attrition here, it's 1%. So... Yep. <laughs> These guys are hopefully not moving into my lands. That would be quite annoying. Nothing we can't deal with, but... Annoying nonetheless. I'm always looking at these states, wondering if it's worth it. This one is probably worth it. Yep, this one is worth it. We are not, however, uh, making these uh, full cores yet. Let's lose the... Prestige. Sure. Can always get Prestige. And there we got Prestige. We don't have the walk all yet, I think. Nope. But we'll get it in a second. So let's move here. Hopefully we'll get there in time. We'll actually kill them here in the drylands. It, is this crossing? It is not, and they have a... One star general turtle hopefully get crushed here. Yep. Did we bait them into going here? No, we did not. Let's follow this. Actually, we shouldn't have done that. 
we can go back, right? Where's this guy going? He's going to the coastal desert. Oh, you shouldn't have. Thank you. Just getting all this military experience or all this prestige from the battles. We're winning. Okay, that was a bit risky, but we won, I guess. And they're retreating to here. So let's just annihilate the army. What? That was very strange. Why didn't it get stack wiped? There we go. So, Davasir, who are you and why do I care about you? Or do I care about you, rather? Do you have lands that I need? You do not. Okay, so let's peace you out then. You can give me all your money and you can give me war reps and you can give me some prestige. Yep. Ending rivalries is a great way to get prestige in this game, so just keep that in mind. So I don't know, we're not really getting that much war score. Oh, probably because these guys are still in the war. And of course now we got the capital and now they're not so eager in the lovers. Scared from the public eye. Uh, fifty percent cheaper, level three. I don't think we'll be able to afford that anyway. So let's not do that. Okay, so I guess we could do some development. But we could also just take tech. Can't we like get admin power so we can get another? No, we can't. So let's, I guess, develop a bit. Let's just see where it's most efficient for the manpower value. There we go. Spend a bit of military power. Oh yes, one cannon there. Maybe I should help him. Aiden! Oh, that's the guy we are fighting. Never mind then. How many provinces did he have? Is it worth staying in this war? Okay, so we actually need all of his land. Plus this guy. Okay. So this guy is... He's not allied to to that other dude. We are attacking Aiden. So let's see here. Let's just transfer all of, all of this to Ajaz. I don't really want this land separated from our own. And then we don't have to pay all the admin for it. Because we're really behind on admin. We will however need to pay Diplo for it later, but that's fine. We'll have the bonuses. We can actually only take this land with the war score anyways. So let's just do that. We'll seed all of that to a jazz, right? Yep. It will give us a bunch of aggressive expansion. A coalition that we don't really care about, to be honest. They're all weak. And there we go. The Jazz might struggle a bit here with keeping this from not rebelling, but we'll help him if need be. So we need that land too, and then we need to conquer some of this too. And when was our truce with the Mamluks up? Was it in... In 31, right? 
Yeah, April 31. Let's move up here. Getting ready for our advance into Egypt. Or the Egyptian region. And we have some rebels in Bitlis. Let's just help him out here. Because he can't deal with him on his own. And they just broke it. Well, what the hell? Uh, that was strange. So that just happened. Uh, yeah, okay. Why don't you want to... That was really strange. So it, it was just like two months and then they broke Bitless. What? Strange stuff right there. Let's just uh, pull off. These guys can siege down this. I mean, yeah, I, I just need the cores and then you'll be fine. Don't you dare siege down these provinces. I really need them. Please don't. I need the trade power. I don't want you to devastate it. Let's get some legalism going. That's always nice. Let's just chase them into... <laughs> Let's chase them to Hungary. Let's get some Miltech cost. Wow. This is gonna be dirt cheap. Are we gonna... We're not gonna... We're gonna have full military power before... It is gone, but we can just improve here, I guess. And Armenia's... Oh, they actually went around my army. But it's fine. Uh, let's return these to Bitless. There we go. Nice. So let's prepare for the Mamlukian war. One of our diplomats diplomats is idle. Hmm. Okay. Can't you like improve with uh, the Ottomans then? Let's upgrade our trade buildings there we go we should increase our trade power by quite a bit sent for trained medicus hell no yes he died <laughs> Our air died. That's amazing. No, that sounds horrible, but he was terrible. So him dying is actually good. Let's send the big army down here to deal with the rebels. So maybe we should share with the Timurids. Offer knowledge sharing. It's not that much, but it's some income, I guess. So it's nearly April. We do not have a truce anymore. And let's go. Go, 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 go. Actually... 
doesn't really matter to be honest. Let's go. Uh, let's go see siege down Cairo. Make the Ottomans uh, do all the heavy lifting here. Hopefully. So what's our trade ships doing? Absolutely nothing. How about we... Yep. Let's send them out. And they're doing nothing because... Of course we had a war with the Mamluks who has a quite a big navy. Navy compared to ours. Let's get tech. We can afford another idea group. Let's go for a military one since... You know... I mean... We could take innovativeness. Can we like change national focus? Not un until 40. Let's... I guess we should take a military focused one. Or actually let... Hmm. We are behind. We are behind on uh, on tech on both of these. So taking idea groups from the like these categories will be bad. But then again, I mean, do we really need more military idea groups right now? No, I don't think so. We are doing quite well. Getting innovativeness, however, would be really nice. Hmm. Also getting the aggressive expansion impact minus 10% is also pretty neat. I'm just gonna go espionage. <laughs> I was just hovering over what I was wondering what how much uh, aggressive expansion impact that was uh, decreasing, but hmm. Oh well, it's actually about that time, uh, so we did quite well on this, we got some land for Jazz, we declared our second war in the Mamluks, and yeah, I guess we got some more favors with the Ottomans from just being in the war, we're almost at 100 now, so that's awesome. Uh, we built some more trade buildings. Which is also awesome. And I think that's about it actually. Uh, we got the Bitless cores back too. From Armenia. Which is good. And yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.